Welcome into the Jacksonville Historical Society inside Old St. Andrew's Church, along with Alan Bliss. Let's look at some of the gingerbread houses, the 20th year of the gingerbread extravaganza. Hard to believe it's been this many years of showcasing some of the best in Jacksonville. It really is, and it's uh, over these past two decades, it's become a beloved Jacksonville tradition, uh, initiated by the Rotary Club of South Jacksonville. And longtime attendees will remember that it was originally launched at the Avenues Mall on the south side. It took place during the month of December amidst the mall traffic during the shopping season. <laughs> it really became uh, a huge project in those years and eventually turned over by South Jacksonville Rotary to uh, the Jacksonville Historical Society. But they have really been loyal supporters. They turn out every year to help us set up the church and make things ready for the project. And they're not the only ones, but we really owe them a big nod of thanks. Well, let's take a look at some of these gingerbread houses. And as we look, this one caught my eye. It looks like Santa Claus came and crashed in through the gingerbread house itself. <laughs> as we look at some of the creativity of these gingerbread houses, what does it mean to you to be able to have the Historical Society share this real bit of Christmas joy? It's a testament to the passion that people feel about this event. It is the sort of thing that attracts people from all walks of life. It's a great family event, and it's a great opportunity to involve people of multiple generations with something that has become a Jacksonville tradition. You know, this is a city that has an imposing, complicated, rich history, 200 years this year. This is the city's bicentennial. And so it's kind of a nice inflection point to have this also be the 20th anniversary of the gingerbread. We have people come back every year who have been attending since they were children. Now they're bringing their children. We have grandparents bring their grandchildren. We have people travel from as far away as Charleston, South Carolina, and Sarasota and Fort Myers and other points in Florida who come to Jacksonville just to see this event every December. They are their regulars and they will notice if we have altered the arrangement here inside Old St. Andrew's Church and they'll say, you know, it wasn't like that last year. But <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of some of the things that may have been like that last year, I understand that we have some Hall of Fame gingerbread houses over this way. Exceptional creativity on some of these. Walk through what we have in this Hall of Fame display. These are examples of exhibits that were put together by amateur gingerbread builders, but these are people who start in the summer before the gingerbread exhibit and they spend months crafting these exhibits. Lots of our builders do and we encourage people to start early. Uh, but these are things that reflect a couple of the themes that we ask people to emphasize or we suggest people emphasize. Jacksonville history and Jacksonville architecture and stories about the city are one of the big things that we ask people to attend to when they're conceiving their exhibits. And then we also of course encourage exhibits that are themed somehow around the holiday season. The life sculpture in Memorial Park is a great example of something that is creative and it's stunning to look at that and consider that it's over 80 percent edible ingredients. That's the <laughs> that's the rule. And then we continue on here a bicentennial of the city of Jacksonville. Very beach life. This is very Florida especially for a gingerbread house no less. Yep and uh, we we're pleased to notice that they picked up on the 200 year bicentennial uh, logo the city's anniversary represented here. So Alan, thank you so much for showing us all these gingerbread houses. If people want to come and enjoy these in person, where can they go to find more information? The website that we have set up for the event is jacksgingerbread.com and tickets can be purchased in advance. We also welcome people at the door and the kickoff day for uh, tours is December 8th and we operate until December 27th after the Christmas holiday. People started uh, really appreciating that when we initiated that a couple of years back because a lot of families have relatives that come into town they stick around for a day or two after the Christmas holiday before they travel back and they think what can we do in Jacksonville that's a distinctively Jacksonville thing and this is it absolutely is thank you very much for your time we have more information on tickets and times in this story on our website firstcoastnews.com